This video is going to show you the quickest way to put together a treatment plan for your patients. So we're going to start by going to restorative charting. Now in here, I want you to go to view options and you're going to look at this option here, add procedures as accepted. Now I've enabled this one here because my goal is to add things in as quickly as possible. So by adding the procedures as accepted, we are bypassing the quote stage. We are not adding these items in as proposed. We cannot put these into a quote if we add them in as accepted, but that's okay. I, that's not my intention today. I do not want to put together a quote for this patient. Everything is going straight into treatment plan. So once that is selected, I can use my charting down the bottom here and just start putting things in place. So all of these options at the bottom are customizable. I've touched on this in a previous video. So if you need assistance with customizing these, please refer back to the last videos. I'll put the links in the, um, the footnotes for this video. I am going to say this patient needs to, uh, that they're a perio patient, they need some debridement. So I select that first. Instantly, we've got all of those codes in place. Then I might say tooth two six needs a root canal. I use my preset. This is all customizable. Three canal root canal. Great, that's in place. Then I'm going to say, right, do you know what? We need some fillings. I'll pop those in and they're going to be composites. And those have been entered in as well. I have just gone through really quickly and added in a full treatment plan for this patient. And because I've done this using my treatment presets that I've created, when I go to my treatment plan, we will see it's already structured this into a plan, into visits, because it's based the information from what we put into those presets. So we've got visit number one and visit number two. They are different stages of debridement. We've got those item two, five zeros. I might say I want to split those up. I actually want this visit to, we're going to you know, give the patient a break in between. So visit number two, I'll select those items. I'm going to move those into visit number seven at the very end of treatment. So we'll start with one session of debridement, maybe the left hand side. Then we're going to work our way through and do the root canal, stage one, two and three. Then we've got a visit in here for our fillings. And then finally, we'll finish off with some more debridement. You can structure this however you like. So however you are comfortable, you may say, do you know what? I want to do these fillings at the same time as doing my debridement because the patient's already going to be numb on that side. I can say, right, visit number five, we're going to merge that with visit number six. There we go. They're all in the same visit now. You can move things around make it suit your needs, change the durations of things if you need to. Again, this info is all based on what you've got in your fee schedules. So if you're finding that you regularly have to change things like this, you might want to change it within the fee schedule itself. You can change the fees here if you wish to, if you want to make an overall change. But when you're happy, just press save and you are done. So we've put together a treatment plan for this patient very quickly. If you forget anything, you do have the options up the top here to add further things in place. So I can add in a preset and here's my full list of my presets that we've created, or we can click on the plus button to add in an individual item number. If you've forgotten things, you do not have to go back to the charting. You can add them in directly from here. I hope that helps. Again, reach out to our support team if you do have any questions about this process.